So wing warping, basically as you start to twist one wing, the other wing twists in the opposite direction. Oh now, now this is quite excessive, especially as it doesn't have fabric on it. Once you put the fabric on it, it will tighten up, but that shows you exactly the, the effect of wing warping. How much of it does it actually need to create it, uh, to make the aeroplane roll? Well, let's go over to the Iron Decker and have a look. <laughs> So to answer your question, Carlos, it actually requires very little movement. As you can see on this, it's quite tight, and that's all I get out of it. But remember, that's only a little movement over a large area, and it's doing the same thing on the other side. So That is extraordinary. Yep. So the fatigue on these... Um would eventually catch up with it, I guess. Well, again, it's all rumours. I mean, uh, that's what I was told. That's the, one of the reasons they stopped making it, but it's something we inspect regularly, and uh, I'm not really sure. I, we'll have to wait and see. Mm. Yes, I hope you don't find out the hard way. Yeah, you beat me to it. Yeah. What's the uh, the finish? How many layers of dope do you have in this? Because this will spit out a lot of oil, I would imagine. It does. So initially, we probably didn't have enough dope on it. We went very, very light on the dope, and we found that these fabric tapes underneath started soaking up all the oil. So we replaced the tapes, put more layers of dope on. Uh, you're looking at probably eight to ten layers of dope all up. Uh, the first couple are just completely soaked up in it. Uh, you have to sand that back a little bit, take off the rough edge, and then just keep building up layers of dope until it's completely sealed. And as you can see, it's got a bit of a shiny edge on it now to repel the oil. So amazing. There goes the Mustang. Absolutely gorgeous. And that's the thing about Caboolture. We literally do have it all here. We now, because of Tavis, we have a World War I collection. We have significant World War II aircraft on the airfield. We have aircraft from Korea and Vietnam Wars and uh, a whole lot of other interesting aircraft like the Yaks, the Nan Changs, and a host of vintage aircraft, um, which, which is fantastic yeah. to see. Absolutely beautiful. What a great place to be at. Highly recommended. Thank you.